What is up, everybody? Happy Tuesday! Tuesday! That is way too loud for a Tuesday, but you know what? It's me and it's Casey, and we have boundless energy. So We are loud, and it is Tuesday. <laughs> That's what you get. All right, we'll get started here in just a couple minutes. As always, want to say hey to everybody. Drop a hello in the chat. Let us know what you're doing today. Uh, we usually do the weather thing, but let's do something different. Tell us what you guys are working on today. We'd love to hear what projects you got going on. And uh, we'll start, uh, we'll get rolling about two or three minutes after the hour here. But as people are coming on, let us know what you guys are up to today. So Casey, in that note, uh, what have you been up to today? I know you had some some uh, equipment challenges. You know, yeah, we had some equipment good. challenges, but we have resolved them. So all yep. is good. Um, and we are getting orders out as fast as possible. We have um we're even with the hiccups we had today we are still in better shape than we've been in in a long time so it's always a nice. fantastic place to be getting those orders out fast so our customers can utilize them fast man i'll tell you what guys i i have not been uh in person to casey's place yet but i, I hope i can someday soon that'll be really cool uh maybe if nothing else when we bring a conference over to the uh east coast absolutely um but that that guy's got a great uh great thing going on there it's pretty awesome I, whenever I whenever I get all excited about getting a stack of wood from him, I realize that your stack is a little larger. Oh, my, yeah, we, uh, we we're real excited. We were actually talking about it today. We, uh, setting up the new warehouse, which will be open to the public at, at least sometimes, and um, you know we're going to be taking a lot of our. We have shelves for all our misfits that we accumulate for our misfit drops, and holy cow. It is going to be fun over there being able to go through the um, being able to go through the misfits and see them and feel them and see some of the beautiful pieces in there. They got took out for little imperfections and most people wouldn't wouldn't even notice them at all. Your, um, your standard is so wonderfully high. It's great. Well, we, we love we love having that higher standard. Yeah. Um, you know, we we pride ourselves on the fact our customers don't have to worry about. Oh, what they get being usable. I would say your your uh, misfits are better than a lot of people's regular, but yeah, we, that, that's, that's, our yep. that's our goal. That's our goal. What's up, Belinda, Karen, Dawn? Good to see you all here with us. Uh, what are you guys working on? Belinda, what do you got going on today? Karen, what you're working on? What projects do you have, Dawn? Let us know uh, what you guys got going on in the creative side there. I saw Ooh, Karen, just... her uh, show got shut down early because it was so hot here in North Carolina last week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ooh. What is up, Anne? You've been designing some earrings sent around Colorado. Wow. Hold on. Hold on just a minute. Oh. It's nothing big. You know, it's Mountain Dew, <laughs> sugar-free of that matter. But, yes, designing some earrings around the Colorado flag flex, which is cool. That's awesome. What's up, Carol? Uh, Karen's already starting Christmas. Fantastic. I like it, Karen. Good job. Uh, Belinda, it's 7 a.m. in Australia, and you're about to get up and go outside because it's freezing. Oh, my gosh, we are jealous. Not – not the 7 a.m. part. We're not jealous about that. Because you know what? We get 7 a.m. here also every day. <laughs> but freezing sounds great because it's a – what is it today where I'm at? I'm here in Oklahoma right now. It is – the heat index is 107. No, nope, don't have that. Uh, so that's awesome. 90 here in North Carolina according to the watch. What is up, Adina in Myrtle Beach? We went there on vacation. We love Myrtle Beach. That's a beautiful place. Karen's given all of her money tomorrow to Casey. He'll he'll That's, take it. Yeah, absolutely. What's up? Hey, Deborah Meeks Nixon. How are you, my friend? I, I love seeing you online every time I see you. It's so good to see you. Brandy, Becky. Uh, so oh, you're getting ready to figure out what's for dinner. I need to order some acrylic for earrings. Yes to both. Dinner first, and then right after that, the earrings. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, Brandy's making some earrings right now on Casey's Maple. It's her favorite. That's fantastic. Oh, great. Excellent. Belinda's making some lanterns. I love lanterns. Got me some right here. I'm excited to cut that one. Yeah, that's going to be cool. And I'd love to make some bigger ones. That'd be really cool. Yes. Uh, Maria says, oh, yeah, Maria's my uh, my geographic neighbor. You're down in Altus, Oklahoma, and it's at 99 right now. So, yeah, it's pretty hot around yeah. here. Uh, uh, see, Belinda, uh, we do ship to Australia. Uh, yeah. We've shipped a couple times to Australia. Um, so yeah, we, 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 we'd love to take care of you. That's great. Lori Howard. Hi from East Texas. Uh, Adina's got some acrylic order getting ready also. So that's great. 
Uh, Becky's working on a bird feeder design. Hey, Belinda, it's 89 degrees with only 12% humidity in Arizona. We'll, we'll take that, man, right? That's great. All right. Well, keep letting us know uh, what, where you guys are from and what you're doing today. And uh, you know what? Casey and I are going to jump into today's topic, but I don't want to assume that everybody here knows who Casey is. So let's start with that. Casey, introduce yourself. Tell everybody what you do, where you're located, that kind of thing. And then I'll just jump in with some questions for you. Absolutely. My name is Casey Cruz. Uh, I work for Smoky Hill Designs. Um, we make laser substrates, everything from 16th inch Ooh. walnut to pattern ply to acrylic to veneer, which I forgot again, to flex, which is a clear and opaque uh, laser substrate that can be cut with a Cricut, can be cut with scissors, can be cut with an X-Acto knife. Anything you want to cut it with, it can be folded, but can't be ripped. Um, so it's a really, really fun and innovative product we just came out with. And we love seeing all the innovative things that our customers are making with it. Um, and we will definitely be showcasing it today. That's awesome. So today, what we're going to try to talk about now, we, if you guys missed it, Casey and I were on for about an hour, 15 minutes last night, and it was so much fun. And we started talking about 10 products that you can sell to 10 different clients this month. And that was fun, but you all started firing off questions so fast in the chat that we had to kind of uh, veer, you know, a little bit. And we got about five or six uh, products we talked about, and then we just took questions for the rest of the hour. So we're going to try to pick up where we left off, but... Ultimately, this is just to benefit you guys. So if we, I know I can speak for Casey completely. We are here to help you guys make money. This is yes, what we absolutely. do for a living. I design files for laser owners. He sells material for laser owners. That is what we do for a living. But nothing brings us more joy than to hear about our customers making a crap ton of money for their families. That, yes. that is yes. fantastic. It really makes us happy. So that is our goal. We're going to be talking about some materials that Casey has. But we're going to talk about how to use those materials and make way more money than they cost. Yes. So that is our, our goal here today as we talk. If you have any questions about any of his products or, frankly, anything that you think anything. either one of us can answer, Absolutely. fire away. Before we jump too far into this, I also want to let you guys know that Casey is going to be one of our presenters at our upcoming conference in Sacramento, California on, and by the way, if I say the wrong month, Casey's going to correct me. Uh, <laughs> I did it yesterday. I don't know what I was doing. Uh, but we've got a conference coming up August, August 12th to the 14th in, uh, in Sacramento, California. Listen to me, man. I'm already stuttering and we just got started. It's so good. But I'm going to throw that up on the screen here. If you guys want to know more about it, you can go to that website and you can grab your tickets. Uh, yesterday, we gave away a free ticket to someone. Uh, it was, uh, I've got her name here. It was, oh, it was Cynthia, Be Cynthia Bello. Yep. And anybody that has bought a ticket will be in this drawing every week to win their cost of their ticket back. So Cynthia is getting her money back and she's getting to come for free. So that's going to be great. So if you guys grab your tickets, you're going to be in that drawing every week until the conference. So you got, I don't know how many, six weeks or something like that. I'm not sure how many, maybe a little longer than that. Uh, so you can win every week or you can only win once. You'll be in every week. Uh, so that's, <laughs> yeah. every week. Win every week. Great. Uh, we'll pay you to come. No, we won't. Um, but he's going to be one of our presenters. It's going to be great. And he's going to talk about topics like today Absolutely. and expand on it a lot. He's also, let me answer a question that comes up a lot. Um, you're going to be able to buy materials from him at the conference, but you're not going to have to carry it back with you because that's ridiculous. He'll have tons of samples. You can pick what you want, and it'll be waiting on your doorstep when you get back home. So uh, yes, that's a great absolutely. way to do that. But you'll be able to touch all of the different things there that he that he sells and uh, you'll be able to see how the flex looks and how it works and yes. what it looks like when, when you engrave it. We're going to have several glow forges on hand. So uh, we haven't talked about this, but we can run some right there live. Oh, that'd so be great. That would be that'd fun, be too. Uh, so if you guys can join us, that'd be great. Another question that comes up, are we going to do uh, live streams of the conference? The answer is no right at the moment because that takes a lot of technology and more than anything it takes a lot of internet bandwidth 
that usually hotels don't have a lot of. So uh, Will and I are considering that in the future, but for this first one, we're not going to do that. Uh, but I just want to let you know that we are thinking about it, but we, we just can't pull that off this time because it's it's a lot. Um, hey, Becky's only uh, an hour from Sacramento. You need to join us for sure. Absolutely. And, uh, I'll say, look at this. Uh, Debbie just received her first order of Flex today. And loved it. I can't wait to see what you make with it. That's Be sure super to share. Cool. That's super cool. Um, and uh, Becky, you're asking about the link. Are you talking about for the conference? The conference? Uh, let us know what you have in mind there. We'll we'll get you whatever link you need for sure. Um, yep. Yeah, for the conference. So I'll throw it back up on the screen there. Uh, I had it there just for a moment uh, right there. The next level, laserconference.com. So go check that out. So let's just jump right into this, Casey. Absolutely. Um, you want to do a quick cover of what we talked about yesterday? You want to do like a 90-second uh, cover of what we did yesterday just to kind of hold some stuff up and then we'll talk about the other ones? First thing we talked about yesterday, or not the first thing, but the first thing we're going to talk about today, photo and graves. Yes. Big money, dollar a minute, all day long, no less, should be more, dollar fifty. I used to do a dollar fifty a minute on photo engraves, and I oversold for Christmas. We made about twenty thousand dollars in six weeks. The first year we had our glow forge. I had a fantastic wow. time doing it. Lost a lot of sleep, but we all do it at the Christmas season anyway. Yes. If you want to see the story about how we did that, watch yesterday's video. Yes. Okay. Next thing we talked about, coasters. Fantastic. You, I use coasters as business cards. They're usable. Uh, they're cool. Everybody's going to show them off. They're sitting on somebody's desk. Everybody's going to be reminded. They're going to show their coworkers. They're going to show their friends. They're going to show anybody who comes in their office how cool their coaster is that they got from you. Use these. Even with pattern ply, they're only going to cost you between a dollar, two dollars, maybe three dollars if you have real big coasters or you don't nest them real tight. Do funky shapes, nest them together. I yeah. mine should look like a dog, but it's circled. Here we are, coasters. Yeah. Don't discredit spending a little bit of money, giving it away. You're gonna make it back. And show um, them you've, you've engraved on those. Show that. Yes. So you got oh, this is MDF with yeah. an engrave, and then we clear coated it to use it as a coaster. We also yeah. have uh, a little bit smaller one that you can use like a monogram coaster. Oh, that's really cool. We have oh, and that, uh, that's the that's the uh, white core, right? That's the white core. This is also white core to Christmas ornament, but you get the same the same effect. Oh, that okay. St keep that up there for a minute. Those are neat. So that's like the buffalo plaid that you've yeah, engraved. Yeah, the buffalo plaid and oh. Missa. It's the Missa design, right? Yes. Everybody loves her. Uh, I believe she's on next week, correct? She is with next Will? week on next yep. Monday. She'll be on with Will. Yep. Be sure to watch that one. So but, no, uh, let's just let's just tell everybody what that is. We're looking at again. That is a. Buffalo plaid with white core. Yep, that all you did was engrave uh, away the top layer, yep. and it exposed the white. And there you go. It's you can't paint like this, folks. No, you can't. It's super easy. Um, we have even like solid black. We yep. have uh, candy cane. So this Christmas ornament. It took twelve minutes total to cut this. And First faster if you, if you have a faster ornament. laser, right? It depends on what you have, right? Absolutely. Twelve minutes with a Glowforge basic, yeah. With the engrave and the cut, and you're done. That's all you yeah. had to do in yeah. twelve minutes. You couldn't paint the board in twelve minutes. Nope. Nope. Not that nicely. You couldn't paint the board white in twelve minutes. No. No. Nope. Um. So fantastic margin on that. You can get probably I don't know eight to ten of these. You sell them for fifteen dollars easy, especially personalized. You could probably get twenty. Yep. Out of a sheet. Um, and you know, if I if I did that one in your hand, if I did that one, I'd cut out the pu the paw. I'd cut absolutely. out. Absolutely. And it, it's you know dimensional looks great. Yep. Yep. And you know what that does? That cuts that twelve minutes down to like three. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Utilize right. your time. Yeah. You know, engrave the engrave the name. Oops. Yep. Engrave the name only. Yep. Not the best. The, the white is, is a little too much white on this one. But yeah, we also have white on black. Yep. Oh, um, that's pretty. With the inverse. Um, we also have the backlit. Oh, There's a good, you got your flashlight? Uh, yep, absolutely. Let me Check see. this out, folks. This is really cool. So you hold it up and put a light behind it. So you have the backlit option. Yeah. So where this really comes into play, we have the pink, we have the orange, we also have a clear for backlighting. 
This is really cool if you can engrave it away and make a Christmas ornament out of it. All those LED lights on the Christmas tree are going to come through and shine yeah. through and make it really a dynamic piece. Um, nice. We also have a print, uh, Night Sky, and you can get it two-sided on clear. This is on white, so it's not going to be the best representation. But all these white spots are clear. So when you put it on a Christmas tree and you use it as a Christmas ornament, yeah, it gives the illusion of shining Star. the light through it. So that's a really, really cool and dynamic um, pattern that we use. Talk about uh, the first thing we talked about yesterday was earrings. Let's yes. touch on that again. And uh, while you're touching on that, Kat's got a good question here. It's going to be very subjective, but sure. he's asking, what's a must-have design for earrings? I, I don't know if you can answer that, but you can at least talk about some popular ones. How about that? I can talk about some popular ones. Yeah. Um, I must have – oh, my gosh. I'm overwhelmed even with the question. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I mean, everybody, everybody's got a different preference. I will say that the – uh yeah, stained glass floral is we'll make that bigger so we can see it yep i mean look at the detail and then uh, when you're doing it right you get two different looks you get a glossy side yep. as well as a matte side that carries all that texture you see that yep uh it's absolutely fantastic and so this is something i was gonna i was showing mark before so you can take this right and yep. cover it with a piece of wood, right? Oh, look at that. Put a piece of wood on the back. Now you can use, this is eighth inch. So total, this is about quarter inch. It's a little thick for a pair of earrings, but it'd be fantastic for a Christmas ornament. Yeah. the same way, right? Yep. Or you could take the new Flex, right? With a pair, with 16th inch, this is a finished walnut, right? And you put, you sandwich it between two pieces of finished walnut. And now total package is only is right at one eighth inch, and it's very very light because the whole center is yes. not there, right? So this this is a very very light with a lighter earring. You can make a bigger earring; won't be so heavy, right? And um, I wanna, we talked about this yesterday. This is one example. Yeah. This lantern that I've got here. This is uh, for my VIPs. They got this one, and you could take some of that flex there, any kind of pattern, and Absolutely. you can cut. You can cut some panels, put them in here. You can cut it. Oh, look at that. I mean, and if you dropped a tea light in there. Yes. The battery so, tea light. The way I envision when I make that product, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of the flex and cut it. Probably with a right. pair of scissors, right? Yeah. Don't even, yeah, right. Don't, don't even don't even bother worrying about the lasering it. Or use your Cricut if, if you have one. Curl right. it like this, right? Drop me a tea light inside. Yeah. Um, here we go. Drop your tea light inside. Right. And, and what's really cool. And change it out for the season. Change exactly. Halloween, you can make this. Morning, Christmas. Yep. Christmas. Yep. Uh, pumpkins, uh, fall, Absolutely. anything you want. And it doesn't have to, obviously, it doesn't have to be my design. It can be whatever design you want. But yep. this is one that's sitting in front of me that I thought this would be a great idea for that pattern ply. And boy, guys, that bumps the quality, the overall perceived quality yes. way up and the value. So I was thinking about it today, Mark. I want to yeah. when I get that pattern, I want to do it. And yeah. since I can use a wireless tea light, right? A little yes. LED tea light, I'm yeah. gonna put it out in front of my house for for Halloween. Why not? Yeah. Why hang not? them out, hang them out in the yard, hang them out in the tree. It's wireless. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be really, really cool if you and 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 then even if you use the flex, it's waterproof. Use acrylic. Yeah. Yep. It, it, I think I think there's a really, really cool opportunity for I, that I totally specific. Agree. Uh, design for Halloween. Hey, Adina made, uh, made, this is cool. I made little guitar earrings out of smoke leopard acrylic. They were awesome. Oh, that's cool. That's super that cool. cool. I love the smoke. I love this, the whole smoke line. Uh, yeah. So good. Um, we, cool. we definitely have plans. Uh, as soon as we get through the, uh, the Christmas drop, Angela is such a Halloween person. Um, she's yeah. going to have a bunch of amazing designs this year. And I know there's going to be a lot of the new, uh, a lot of the smoke uh, for the Halloween drop. So let's, before we go any further, yes. I just want to make sure we touch on this for folks who haven't done it before. Yes. The economics of yes. earrings. I, I think this is important because I think, I don't know what the highest dollar uh, piece of pattern ply you have is, but it, I, I know you're the higher ones. Let's call it $25. Well, $25. Yeah. Okay. 25 bucks. And I'll ask everybody in the chat. We asked yesterday. I'll ask again on the average, how much do you charge for earrings? You don't have to talk about your most expensive or your least. 
Just what's your average M- price? Middle of the road, what you expect to get. Yeah, what you expect to get for earrings. Let us know in the chat there. While they're typing that, uh, Casey, ho- grab a piece of pattern play again or hold that up. And we can talk about, about how many earrings you might be able to get out of this one sheet. Well, I'm going to do a sneak peek of the drop. Yeah. The drop. So this is a the or I don't know I don't know if it's officially called Christmas belts yet, but that's what we're going to call it for tonight, right? Yep. So pretty simplistic. We me and Mark counted it. Uh, I think it, Mark I've already forgotten. It was fifty. We have fifty buckles or twenty five pairs of earrings, right? Okay. And let's we'll, we'll use the smoke scale here. As you can see, how easy is that? And we we space these out farther than we probably normally would have but we wanted to make sure that we utilize if somebody had a larger earring that they wanted right. to do right so it'd be like a santa claus buckle for those of you guys who aren't yeah, santa claus buckles like little santa claus buckles i mean how long how long this is uh this is an mdf so it's going to cut at 168 full yeah um and it is going to be uh fast a money maker i i am predicting so uh, let's go so people are saying let me just read some of these uh yeah, ten dollars on average, fifteen dollars, ten dollars a pair, twelve dollars, ten to eighteen, twelve, ten, sixteen. So I'm going to say, let's say twelve is a middle, as a low middle. Yes. And we think that you can get probably twenty five pairs out of this one he's got in his hand. This is probably the least efficient board we got, just because right. there was specific spacing for the right. specific earrings. Now I show you this one that Angela has already. Uh, cut out of right and you can see how many pieces oh. she got out of this one sheet and, and she wasn't even trying all of this yeah. is untouched right um, i think so you could easily people, get 50 pair 50 oh, pair 50, 100 pair easy out of this one sheet so what she actually used this sheet for is she went crazy and actually made these rings look at you that. See that yes uh Cabochon, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, earrings and rings and pendants. Look at that. Um, so you see, that's what she used all those circles out of. So she got a pendant. She got a ring. She got a pair of earrings. All that match with the same pattern, a bracelet. Look at that. And then you have a whole matching set. Um, and then she has these cool brooches. I think they are. And see, check this out. If you do 50 pairs of earrings on that sheet, I just want yeah. to help you all who are math challenged. Look right here. Yes. $600 in profit off a single sheet. And, and you didn't have to sit there with all, I mean, and, and this right here is scraps, right? So all this stuff, you could probably cut half of that stuff out of the scrap from this pair of earrings. Yes. Just yeah. just by utilizing your scraps and maximizing. I think Angela was done. And forgive me. I don't know all the economics of all these findings she used. Right. But I, she said that most of them average a dollar a set. I think the rings were less than a buck a piece. I think these were less than a dollar a set. I think these were 50 cents. And I think this might have been a little bit more than a dollar. But this is a little bit more than a dollar. You might have... 50 cents in pattern ply, right. hot, you know, less right. than that. It's going to be scrap anyway. So that for, you sell the set for 50 bucks. Easy. I mean, right. Easy. So, and uh, by the way, Kathy asked this question and we can, we can give an average answer. What's the size of the average earring? It really depends on the shape, right? Like, uh, we are, we're getting ready, to, yeah, we're getting ready to roll out about a dozen uh, different designs here in the next uh, about 10 days. And they do vary a lot. There's some, there's some little one inch ones. There's some really long dangly ones. So yeah, quarter would, inch studs. So, I would say on the average, an inch, uh, an inch, inch and a quarter. And then of course they're smaller and larger depends. Um, well, we designed the smoke scale. Um, what we call this, we did a certain, uh, you know, we did a one inch, which is smaller, right. than you, yeah. your normal earring, right. Which, which you're going to put find over here. Right. Um, but you have a you have a one inch, which really gives you an idea of the pattern, down to a quarter a quarter inch or half inch stud for huge studs, right? Yeah. Uh, and you can see how many of those you can fit in there. Right? A lot. Yeah. Um, so it really like 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 you were saying, Mark, it's gonna come down to preference. It um, is. You know, some people love really really big earrings. Angela likes really big earrings, and that's where um, 
doing, especially when you're doing these layers, utilizing some of these thinner substrates, whether right. you use the flex in the middle or the 16th in the middle or, or what have you. Um, so yeah, I know Brandy right. makes a lot of earrings. So her saying, you know, one and a half to two and a half, two inch earrings. Yep. The, that That's, that's the opinion I would use. Yep. I agree. I agree. So this is all really good. And I, another thing that I hope you guys are going to do, you're listening to us right now, but yes. there is a lot of people that you, you really should connect with here in the chat. There, I, I know a lot, I don't know everybody, but I know a lot of these folks. There's some really nice creators here that would Absolutely. be happy to, to give you uh, feedback on the things that they do. So we love the community and we want to make sure that we can connect people with people. That's, that's what really what this is about too. So let me kind of wrap that up. Uh, earrings, huge profit center. And yes. there's just no limit to the look and the pattern. In fact, I want to point out one more time that sheet that he was holding up, it was a random pattern throughout it. So you can get different looks throughout that whole piece. Absolutely. This is a great, this is a great example. All these were cut out of the same sheet 15 minutes before the show started because I'm a procrastinator. Wow. Um, well, look at that. Yeah. And then, so, so I was telling Mark, I said, like, what you really do is you cut a bunch of these shapes and then you cut a bunch of these shapes out of a bunch of 16th or 8th inch or, or what have you, whatever you got, and use some black, some white, some clear acrylic, and yep. some flex. You throw yep. it in a tackle box. You take it to the art show. You open it up, and you let people mix and match whatever look they want. If it's they want a thinner earring, fine. If they want a thicker earring, fine. Right? If they want to do all kinds of funky stuff, let them I'm gonna, I want to say that. I'm just going to repeat what you just said because I don't know if anybody caught it because everybody's getting distracted by the pretty stuff. Yes. What he's suggesting is – Get yourself a box, cut a whole bunch of, hold up a couple of those wooden ones for me again. So for example, cut a bunch of different shapes from maybe two or three different materials, right? For whatever you got. Or, or yeah, as, ma as many or, as you want. Because you're going to. As many as you have, right? And then yeah. cut some, the same things, just the outline out of pattern ply, hold that up. And then you can put these and let people mix and match and say, hey, grab yourself one center and two um, outside pieces for X dollars, whatever. Yes. And then they can mix and match and make their own. And uh, they feel like it's even more custom than before. Absolutely. And some people may want, you know, really, really. So this is transparent. Can you see yep. It? Maybe see yep. through it a little bit. Um, so you might have somebody who wants transparent. You may have somebody who wants one that's not. You may have somebody who wants two earrings that kind of match or yep. you might find somebody who wants two earrings that the colors are very different yeah. everybody has a different taste we hear that a lot We're like i love this pattern but i can't get two earrings that are perfectly the same well yeah some people want that some people right. want to have a dynamic look it's going to match a bunch of different things can you right? see if you can find if you know the answer to this question i don't what adhesive does uh angela use for making studs uh that loctite o2 oh the one that i use Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay, yeah. Um, Jen, I'll, I'll type it out for you. Uh, I didn't know that she used the same one I did. Yep. But yep. it is uh, Loctite. Uh, you know, it's funny. I don't know if it's Go-To or Go-To. I, I, I don't know. It's it's uh, a thick super glue, really, is what it is. Um, uh, but the reason I like it is because it's technically not um, – it's not super glue in that it doesn't set so fast that I can't move anything. It's not like that. Um, it, it does take probably a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes before it's, or it's solid. To be, right. Um, I just don't, uh, now my See, friend you, Tyler, yeah. Angela actually used it as a feature. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but you see how you can kind of see the glue through it. Yeah. She kind of piled it in there yeah. to where it kind of made some, somewhat of a facet look. She also used transparent on this and then used the shiny metallic of the earring to give it more of a metallic look. And you can see that she used the clear acrylic and put the pattern on the backside. So then the pattern is protected from beating and banging. And this earring, or uh, this earring, this ring um, is uh, one Angela's been wearing. She brought it in here because I didn't have it yesterday. She also brought me a lot of other cool. So she used this one and added some glitter to the glue. Oh, nice. Um, just, just to kind of give it a cool, and then she has a pattern ply veneer on the backside. You can also use the flex. Um, she has this one that, that's the uh, uh, two-sided clear where you can see through it. 
Yep. Um, I need some sort of focusing situation, but um, all kinds of cool different ways. This one is actually wood veneer um, that she engraved. I don't know if it's going to take. Oh, there it is. She engraved a monogram and then used the uh, the like the magnifying cover on it. Um, so really, really, really cool stuff. Look at Belinda's question. Casey, can can you confirm if the frog juice is to be sprayed on pattern ply acrylic or the MDF core? Oh. Both. Both. Believe okay. it or not, I sprayed it on this. It's cool. it's expensive. I I I don't know if I would say it would be perfect for wood, right? Because it is a premium price and it's designed for pattern ply products or okay. like that. Um but I have it. And it dry. I, I literally sprayed it on here, and I was lasering in five minutes. Okay. Um, and it did a fine job on this. And then I had some. Uh, I did some Sapili sixteenth inch as well. Um, and, and it works good. But yeah, it can be used on acrylic or MDF. Uh, Aaron asks, uh, I can't find Loctite Go two anywhere in, anymore. Mark, where do you buy it? Uh, two thing, two places. I have bought it locally at Lowe's, but I haven't been able to find it lately. So I buy it from Amazon in six bottle packs. Um, I have had probably um, four out of five packs have been really great. One out of five has come kind of semi-solid and I had to send it back. Um, but I want to say that's not the fault of the glue. It, I mean, it is, but it's more of the, um, the shipper and where they're storing it and yeah. all that kind of business. So I will tell you that can happen with any glue, not just this brand. Uh, I'll, but that's also, what I prefer. I'll yeah. also throw... That, I know that's what Angela used for this. I yeah. personally use thick CA glue. Yeah, yeah. Look it up on Amazon. There's a bazillion different brands. I usually use um, Type Bond just because wood and yeah. I know Type Bond and I appreciate you know uh, everything they do for the wood industry. Yeah. Um, so Type Bond has a thick. They have a medium. They have a thin. And I, so you can pick I used different it brands. yesterday. I really yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works good. Um, Kat, it, asking, it, doesn't, it doesn't dry real fast either. Cat, you're asking, do you Mark, do you use the Loctite in your other wood projects? Yes. In fact, until yesterday, I have not used anything but that Loctite in five years. So that's been, I would say, safely thousands of projects. Uh, so I really like it a lot. The only reason uh, I ventured out buying something else was I ran out, like, like, I didn't even see it coming somehow, and I ran out, so I had to run out and get something else. Uh, but I will probably continue to use Loctite most of the time as long as I can still get it. Uh, Jen said that Walmart has it online, so we can uh, check there as well. So that's good. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab a few more questions here, Casey, yeah. and then I'll yeah. jump back to our list, all right? Uh, do I have to seal the pattern ply acrylic? You do not have to. You can. Uh, it really is going to depend on what kind of project you're using it for as well. So yeah. I am big on torture testing everything we sell before we sell it um okay. and coasters so this is actually black on white and you can see that that is chipped right but it's not the pattern chipped it's actually the acrylic chipped yeah it's the actual so acrylic is brittle it chips it, it cracks so that's something you really need to keep in mind. So this one, its life was it got thrown across the parking lot about a dozen times just to <laughs> see. And then I threw it as hard as I could at the ground, and that's where that one came from. Um, but for all, for all intents and purposes, being thrown across the parking lot a dozen times, including being thrown as hard as I could at the ground, it looks really well, right? Yeah. Um, right. Just, to, just, just to kind of show normal wear and tear, this – this is one of my favorite business cards and I won't give it away. And you can see it's been on my desk for a couple months and it's starting to get a couple of chips around the edges. This wasn't sealed, right? This one was sealed. So it had a little bit longer longevity. Um, if you're making keychains, I would highly suggest sealing. Yeah. Keychains are the worst. It's going in your pocket. I know I keep a knife in my pocket. A lot of times it's going to beat and bang around in there. If you're putting on your key ring and you have 700 keys and it's jingling around in your purse, it's probably you're probably eventually going to have an issue. If you are reselling them, I would seal them because you don't know what your customers are going to do with it. Um, right. Some people use the frog juice. That's why we brought that on. And I feel like it really, really helped. Um, there's a puppy. So no longer anyone's listening to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a lot of people use resin and a couple other products. Um, 
but sealing yeah. it is not a must. It really is going to be project dependent on if you need to. Yes, that's really good. All right, so let's jump into the things that we haven't talked about. Um, yes. We've covered uh, coasters. By the way, this is Luna. This is our little girl puppy. We've got uh, a brother and a sister. Uh, Jagger is the other one. He's not in here, but he's much bigger. But Luna's hanging out with me, chewing on her uh, pig's ear. There you go, sweetheart. Oh, thank you. Oh. Just wanted to say hi to everybody. You go back to chewing on the, on the pig's ear there. All right. So we will um, Yes. We will jump back into this. So we, had, we talked about earrings. We talked about Earring. coasters. Uh, we talked about, oh. oh photos. We talked, we talked about photos, but let's talk about something related to that. You mentioned yesterday was photographers. This is a yes. let me let me lead into it, and you can talk about it. Is you can take you can talk to photographers. Like I just thought of one. I, I know here I got a friend named Mike. Let me tell you his story, and and then I need to reach out to him. He owns several classic cars that he rents out for weddings, and he drives people around when they get married, and he takes photos of them with these beautiful classic cars. That's cool. Well, what a better thing than to engrave these photos of these classic cars with the couple on wood, right? So Absolutely. not just engraving photos, just any photos, but connecting with a photographer, right? Mm -hmm. And either you can do one of two things. You can either engrave for them. And sorry, I just realized I'm talking over you on this one. But uh, you can engrave that photo for that photographer or you can find um, – if someone's got a favorite photographer and they want to have their stuff on, on wood or materials too. Absolutely. And, and, and in that same breath, I, I, I highly, highly suggest making relationships with photographers. Yeah. Um, or if you are a photographer, utilizing the other side with your photography, um, the photo engraves are a fantastic example. Um, we also have a couple, we have a, we, we have a couple customers and, you know, something we, we also, um, try to talk about as well you you can go to these photographers get their art and, yes. and send it to us for custom pattern fly yeah and then you can utilize that art for that for that photographer or that artist you know we'll tie those them into the same conversation so if you have an artist and you can take their art and get it in a digital form when we make it into a pattern fly, you can cut earrings out of it or you yeah. can cut a phone stand out of it or you can cut any number of things you can cut a puzzle out of it. Yeah. And then that either you can sell it to them and they can resell it or you can sell it for them or you give them a royalty for them giving you the image. There's a lot of different ways to have an agreement. But those people, I am absolutely sure, would love to have their art used some other way than just looking at it on Instagram. Yes. Right. And if they can help take that art or that photography or that whatever and turn it into an income – there would be an absolutely fantastic mutual relationship you can have with those people. Absolutely. Um, there's a lot of, there's just so much opportunity. And I really, really hope that we start tapping into that more. Oh, in fact, Adina's got an answer. I mean, a question. I know the answer, but you go ahead and field that one. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. Yes. Can you, so it says I, I paint. That's a great idea. Can you do that full color? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we, we can we can do any number of things. Um, yep. And we can do it out of the clear, just like this, which, you know, adds another, you know, dynamic effect. It really is going to depend on what kind of art you do, yeah. right? right. Um, but if you took your, your art, we made it like this in Pattern Ply, you made a sun catcher out of it. How beautiful. If nothing else, how beautiful would that be for Christmas presents for your loved ones this Christmas? Yes, if, if absolutely nothing else. Um, so yeah, that we, we would love to help facilitate something like that. In fact, that might be uh, maybe another, <laughs> we're going to have to do so many of these because we have so many ideas, but sure. what, if, what if we spent 20 minutes or so coming up with all the ways you could use specific art? Oh, I would love to do that with you. I would yeah, love to do so, that with like, you. Hey, you can do a sun catcher because oh, you know, art, we all love art, but yes, when you have everybody special... wants to experience art differently. Right. Right, exactly. Everybody wants to look at it differently. What you know, we, we, we could put a, a, a painting on the wall. Yeah. Right. We could do a photo engrave of a painting. We could yep. do a sun catcher. We could do earrings. We could yep. do pendants. We could do a phone stand. Yes. We could do any number of things. We could do your lamp out of art. 
You know what would be gorgeous? I, I, I don't know if I can. I never can hold these up and be able to see them very well, but um, I'm going to hold it in front of myself. Yes. So yes. this is a soccer trophy, so ignore that for a minute. But you know what would be cool? I've done a lot of these. I don't have any in my room right now to hold up, but I can put a solid piece behind this Yes. that is printed, right, like a pattern ply, and all of a sudden I've brought in a, uh, a piece that will that will make this pop I, I, I don't know how to. It's just a, a completely another level to the project. Right. And you can uh, bring in custom art or something you've made, right, that can that can go behind this. It could be a beautiful um, abstract art. It could yeah. be soccer balls. It could be whatever. Any number of things. Yeah. Also, you could do something like this with a like an inspirational quote, not a soccer ball, mm -hmm. and then put art behind it or next to it. It'd be gorgeous. So four. Yes. Yes. Lot, tons and tons of, of things. That, that, I think that leads us into the next thing we would like to talk about. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to put it. Yeah. Where I'm going with this, is, Mark, is uh, our, what we were talking about, stained glass for yeah. churches. right? Oh, yeah. So if you made uh, fundraisers for your churches yep. and you took the art, right, because we're still in that art, art focus, you took the art, if you could get a really high quality photo of the stained glass or a yeah. digital copy of that stained glass, we could produce it into a clear acrylic, right? That you yeah. can now cut into Christmas ornaments for the congregation, or you could cut it into a stand, or you could cut it into a pair of earrings, or you could cut it into any number of things. You could have a whole different, Oh, you, you could have a whole catalog that is all very, very, very emotional to a large group of people yes. and they would love to have it. What about a nativity scene with a stained glass behind it? Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. Yeah. People would love to have it. And, yeah. and you could have a whole range. You could have everything from $10 earrings to a hundred dollar nativity scene. Yep. That would and be you very can, personable to that, to that specific congregation. And you can do whatever is, whatever makes sense for you. I mean, That's cause right. everybody's in a different situation, but you could donate it to your church so that you could make money. Uh, you yes. can sell it, whatever is appropriate for you. Uh, yes. But these are just, and I, I guarantee if this is not the the answer for you, it sparks an answer for you, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I saw Karen's comment about Duke Chapel. That's one that I always kind of have in the back of my head since it's local. Um, yeah. But that, that touches a whole nother group of customers, yeah. right? Um, yeah. I don't I don't know what the I don't know the rights of that artwork would be. I don't either. Right. It would have to you'd have to look into it. But it would be uh, really, really, really cool to just do something like that that has an emotional, right? Emotional something to a group of people. Um, Absolutely. And, Absolutely. And I agree with you, Mark. I think it would be a fantastic fundraiser for um, either either something for the church an improvement yep. for the church or even yep. if it's a fundraiser just to donate money for Christmas presents for, you know, for the local, local families. I mean, any number of things Love it, it could be used for. Love it. And I will tell you from, as a, a former church staff member, yes. we loved doing that. Like there were several years where we would uh, take uh, donations to buy uh, Christmas presents for local kids that didn't have, that didn't normally get them. Yes. And that is a great way to raise funds to be able to give it to the community. So just lots and lots of ideas, great ideas. So talk to me about this. You talked to me yesterday about uh, car decals and uh, out of veneer and on tumblers. Yes, I am a terrible planner <laughs> and didn't get it done today. That's but okay. yes, so our three and back veneers, fantastic market for those three and back veneers. We have three and back pattern fly veneers and raw wood veneers, both of which are suitable for outside use. Um, they're not going to last forever. There's our disclaimer for the day. Rocks to road, mountains turn to valleys, and, and all that good stuff. Right. Grand Canyons and such. Um, but but we have customers that use our veneers for tumblers, yep. right? Uh, I know one customer specifically, she is a huge wooden sticker uh, yes. um, seller. Um, and she has one of our raw wood maple veneers on a tumbler and it's been through the dishwasher I, it has to be at least 50 times now nice. and it still looks fan, fine um i know angela has one of our pattern fly veneers on the back of her phone um you know it gets handled every day it gets wiped down with hand sanitizer and it's been on there for over a year and a half and it's just now starting to show wear um and yeah. as a man 
I will tell you right now, men will spend too much money on stickers. And we put stickers on yep. everything. Yep. Especially if they're cool or they're rustic. We put them on our truck. We put them on our cup. We put them on our phone. We put them on our Yeti cooler. We put yep. them on everything. And we pay stupid amount of money for them. You're, this, this isn't a $5 product. Yeah. We'll spend $15 on a sticker. Um, I, I caught my dad. Uh, my dad's a Vietnam vet. And I caught him. He spent $75 on a POW sticker the other day. <laughs> and I was like, why didn't you call me? How the hell yeah? So, um, so just, just a, a fine example of that's a market that really, really be sure to to keep in the back of your mind when you're talking to talking to people, talking about your capabilities. A, a, yeah. a, a, a maple veneer or a walnut veneer or a sapili veneer. We, we also have some exotics. We have we keep paddock. Um, we uh, have purple heart on occasion. Um, some wingy on occasion, zebra wood, a, a large variety of products um, that we have in the beard, including all and almost 900 will be uh, pattern ply images that you can have. Um, fantastic about, opportunities. Uh, catch Tanya's question here. Can custom yes. pattern ply have a white core for engraving? Absolutely. Absolutely. We do it every day. Yep. Uh, we can do custom on any of the cores we offer. I think we're up to, so we have black, white, I'm going to miss one, black, white, two different pinks. We have the fluorescent, orange, and pink. Uh, the orange one is somewhere on my desk. We have blue, we have red, we have green, we have, uh, I think there might be a yellow back there. We have a whole plethora of different colors we can do for you. And all of them will have the same uh, the, the same out, output when you engrave. You defocus your engrave, you'll get that beautiful color coming through. Um yeah, love it. Yep, but yeah, we can absolutely here's, do that. Here's a good question, the, and I know the answer. I'll, I'll do this one to give you a, a break for a second. Uh, the acrylic I wrote it has paper on one side. Is it okay to laser through that? Do I need to mask the other side? Uh, so there's two answers to that. Yes, you can engrave. Uh, you can laser through it. And that's not mm -hmm. a problem. Uh, and do you need to mask the other side? That's a maybe. It depends on what you're what you're doing, right? It's going to come down to personal preference. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of I'll, – I'll, yeah. I'll run off with this one. So anytime it's going to have paper on one side and a pattern on the other, it's going to be, it's going to be a clear product. Okay. Your laser is, this is designed to be lasered. We have done extensive testing. This laser, you're not going to hurt it. The only thing that's going to hurt it is the flashback. If you have your settings too slow or your power too high, if you have something other than the glow forge, right? Right. If it's, when it goes into your honeycomb tray and it bounces back into the bottom, yep. that's where you're going to have damage. So on clear, where you have a, uh, a protective masking on one side, you put that protective masking down. That will protect you from the flashback. The top, you don't need to mask it. If you want to, for peace of mind, absolutely. I find that just a quick wipe, even with a damp towel, is all you need to clean up the top side. Let me add to that. One other thing that I can say personally if you don't keep your honeycomb clean, which I don't, the flashback ends up being worse and it's a mess because it, there's a bunch of debris on there. Absolutely. So if you're getting a bunch of flashback, one of two things or both, you need to increase your speed a little bit, decrease your power a little bit, and or clean your honeycomb. Okay. Yes. And I can say number three there is Mark 100% of the time. Uh, I just decided to treat my honeycomb as a... Uh, a nicely seasoned grill, you know, it's just, uh, it's gross. All right. I um, another, another thing you can do is you can take like the, the circle that was once here, uh, yep. take your scraps and put it under yes. your pattern ply when you're cutting. Um, you put one in the corner, maybe one or two in the middle. You don't need to, you don't want a whole sheet under it cause that's going to create heat and then you will have problems. Yeah. Um, you just want a couple, couple, uh, uh, scraps sitting up under your sheet when it's lasering. And what it does is when it bounces back up, it refracts more um, and you won't have as much of a problem. Um, right. Only ask your series, if you do do that, you need to take into account how thick your part that you're picking it up by is yep. if you're going to defocus and engrave. Yes. Yep. That's absolutely right. Little spacers, basically. Yes. Yeah. yes. Absolutely. Man, guys, this is great. Keep the questions coming. I hope this is helping somebody. In yes. fact, I'll just go ahead and ask, man. If this is helping you, give us a We'd thumbs up. Know. Let us know in the chat what we can do to help you more. But if this is helping, that's great. Boy, I'm going to open up a big old can of conversation here. 
but it's going to be really fun. One of the things we wrote down was uh, promo items. And what yeah. we talked about was, let me, let me lead into this. All of the things that Casey is showing us, whether it be coasters, whether it be phone stands, any of these things that you can use as ways to get into a business, right? When when you walk in and you say, hey, here's a here's a coaster that has your uh, company's Right, right there. Yes. Your company logo, logo. Yeah, engrave your logo on one side, engrave their logo on the other. If it's a big time client, you know that you need that, or no, you want that. Put their logo on the side, leave it, give it to them, put it on yep. their desk. You're gonna look at it every day and be like, I need, really need to order some of those. And so, besides, so here's two things think of a coaster as both a product in its own right, but also as a promo to lead into other things, okay? Because I know that uh, Casey often uses the coaster as his business card Yes, a lot of times. And so he's leaving. Let's say he's visiting me, for example, and he's saying, Big Blue Laser Designs logo on one side and Smoky Hill Designs on the other. Hey, man, I just wanted to drop this off, let you know what I'm doing. You're welcome to use that, whatever you want. But if you need anything, just call me. And I might want more coasters for one. But I also might say, hey, do you do... Uh, do you do cutting boards? Oh yeah, sure. Or do you, can you do uh, my company on phone stands? I want to give them away as incentives or thank yous, right? And it just it just opens up the floodgates for things that you may not have thought of. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, companies have budgets for this, and they are yeah. looking like I have several friends that own companies here in Tulsa, and they're telling me now. I need to spend money for yes. Christmas and I'm going to spend it. Can I spend it with you? Yes. I, I would add to that. Most of those businesses are small businesses yeah. and they want to give it to another small business. They yeah. don't want to give it to Vista print. They right. don't want to give it to uh, whatever right. that they right. bought online. And it's a cheap quality that they could have. And, and a lot of times, especially businesses that have high end clients. Yeah. They don't want to give away something cheap. Yep. They don't. It, 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 we all, we, we, if you are in this business, the, yep. the Casey and Mark and the crafter, we are frugal people. It, yep. It's almost, it almost has to be because we're yep. going to, we will make it instead of buy it. Yep. The person you're looking for is not that person. They're not looking, they're not looking at that and saying, Oh, I could have made that for a dollar. No, they're not. They're not that person. Nope. They have no idea how much it costs you to make it first and foremost. And they really don't they care. Have, they have no idea how you made it unless you tell them. Nope. And a lot of times if they're going to be buying something to give to their customer as a gift, as a thank you, yep. a, a, as a whatever, they don't want to come across as someone who got something cheap for them. Right. They want some, right? If you have a high end client, a million dollar a year client, a couple hundred thousand dollar a year client, yeah. they're not sending a Christmas card with a thank you in it. They're right. sending something. And if you were a customer that spent a million dollars with that customer, yeah. you don't want a, a, a one dollar thank you. Right. They want something that's personal. They want something that is professional. They yep. want something that is quality. And that person, if you come to them and say, oh, I can do these for $5 a piece, they may not give you the business because it was only $5 a piece. Right. They may have a budget to spend $100 a piece on every customer. Right. And they are gonna they have to spend $100. And if you're talking about, oh, these are $5, that, that may touch this market. But there's also this other market over right. here that says, I've got to spend a hundred dollars, and if it's five dollars for this and three dollars for that, I still got to spend a uh, ninety dollars on something. Right, exactly. And it might be that beautiful high-end cutting board, yep. right? That luckily you went in there and gave them a coaster that That's cost exactly right two dollars. But it might be that high-end cutting board. It might be that high-end sign. It might be that personal yep. uh, photo engrave of every one of their customers. Yes that they're going to put on their mantle and you're going to engrave the back. And it says, thank you for your business from yep. Joe blows, whatever. Right. Um, so don't discredit valuing your stuff as a premium product. That, that, exactly. That's kind of my moral of that thought. And um, so let me, let me just, cause I know you and I talked about this before we got went yeah. live. 
So again, you can use the coasters or the phone stands as means to an end. Like you're actually going to sell more of these, which you should, yes. or you can also lead into other products. And we both said, Hey, if you want to buy like cutting boards or other blanks, man, I mean, our, our buddy will, <laughs> crazyblazerdad.com, that dude has got all kinds of things. So if you have not been a customer of Will's, you should be. And I really think that you can use a bunch of Casey's things to lead into other things as well. So yeah. just don't, we're, we're trying to, we're just trying to fill up your, uh, your notebook with ideas for sure. Uh, hey, yeah. Tanya's got a question here. What material is used for the photo notebook? Uh, this one is our maple. This one is our maple. Um, you can see it's a little bit lighter. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, this one is our white birch. It's a little bit darker. We got, we got a little bit more. So, so what, when I was selling, um, when I was selling photo engraves, I would ask the person, do you want rustic or do you want, looks like paper or maybe not looks like paper. That might be a little bit aggressive, but yeah. do you want something that's more black and white, a little bit more clean, or right. do you want something that looks like wood that's yeah. engraved? And right. there's two different people that want two different things, right? Some people want, I want to experience that texture. I want to, I mean, that, that's a little bit better example. And the camera doesn't pick it up real well. If you're in person, you can definitely see the color. Yeah. Um, and you can say, all right, which 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 look do I want? And you would use a different product for, for each. Um, but both of these are MDF core, uh, white birch, or maple. Um, right. And again, you pick the substrate to the look you're, you're going after. If you even want to offer two, two, two different things. Like I said, when I did it, I only offered one size. It made it very easy. I had one template. I had one piece of size of wood. I dropped it in the same spot. I used a jig. I knew exactly where it was going. I dropped it in. I hit the crank. I hit one to the next one. Yep. Um, so I you love know, it. Keeping well, it hey. simple is always helpful um, if you want to, or more options. I, I, if you look at our company, we also went well, obviously went with more options. <laughs> Yes. Well, in fact, I was going to jump into, uh, I want you to tell me this real quick. You've got how many colors? You've got that color chart. We have 908 colors. 908 colors. On the color chart. And you can have it on MDF one-sided two, eight quarter. Um, so that's eight. Uh, all we As a custom, we can offer all those colors on all the color cores. We have it on flex. We have it on clear, transparent. And two sided. Um, we have it on veneer, three and back, and um, two sided. Um, I don't know what, I think that's like 20 variants across 900 colors, so about 20,000 SKUs of just solid color. Uh, and then we have about 900 patterns um, between clear. And, we got a lot of SKUs. That's, that's the moral of the story. So <laughs> we if somebody of wants to get something custom printed, Yes. And they've got a graphic that they either they made or, or yes. I made or somebody else made and they want to get it printed on pattern ply. They would send it to you. How? Email yep. Angela. That's who's going to be emailing you back. I yep. the owner of the company yep. who has a four year old who's out of school for the summer. Please, please keep that in mind. Please be nice to Angela. She's doing everything she can for you. But email Angela at custom and and she will do as much as she can for you. But please remember that we are a husband and wife team and we have, a, we have a small child and it may take a couple days to hear back from her. Uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll just say like my pastor used to say is if you don't think family is important, you're just mean and nasty. So um, <laughs> and you know what? We will not apologize for that. Family's first every time. If Absolutely. you don't agree, take your business somewhere else. Otherwise, we love, we'd love to serve you. We love, we, we, we absolutely want to help you yep. grow your business. Without um, a doubt. Without and and a doubt. we are actively working on a more streamlined uh, custom uh, option that we hope to debut or talk about at the show. Absolutely. Um, as well. well, so I want to kind of, it is, man, we're almost an hour in, uh, like, just like yesterday, uh, <laughs> Me and Casey will hang out for a few minutes after the top of the hour. But Absolutely. before we go, I want to mention what you mentioned yesterday. I'll lead into this, let you talk about it again. If any of you are coming to the conference and oh, you yes. should, if there's any way you can, we'd love to have you. I get that it doesn't fit for everybody. That's fine. But if you're coming to the conference, again, here's the information. Um, 
he's going to do something special that I think is really exciting. I'm and really excited I'll, about this. I am really, yeah, really this is really cool. So I'm going to throw it on the screen and let you kind of talk about what this means. If you're yes. coming to the conference, talk to us about yes. that. Bring one item you made with our materials. Could be powder fly, could be wood, could be a sticker, could be a coaster. I hope, it's a, yep. I hope you hope, hope to see some coasters. Um, earrings, Christmas ornaments. Bring something you made with our product and leave it on the table. Take it back with you if you like. Maybe, maybe you'll share. Maybe, but bring it to inspire someone else. And in doing that, we will have enough pattern ply that everybody will be able to take a sheet. There's another sneak peek of a pattern we're going to be dropping Friday. Um, we're going to have enough pattern ply that everyone will be able to take a sheet of pattern ply in exchange for leaving an item to inspire someone else. Love it. And Love it. we are so excited to be able to do this. Me and Mark were talking about it. So here's, here's, here's a fun little way to think about the show. The, uh, forgive me, yeah. it's $400 for a ticket, correct, Mark? Yes, $399. $399. $399 for a ticket. The one sheet of pattern ply that you're going to get for free just by bringing something you had on your crafting table, you can turn that one sheet into more money than what the ticket cost. Absolutely. There's no question about it. You can take this one sheet and make enough yep. to pay for the ticket to the show. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that's what I am going to be. That is going to be my mission while at the show, not only to teach, but I'm going to hopefully teach you how to take that one sheet that you got for free and pay for the trip to the show. I love it. So let me grab a couple more questions here. Yes. Um, Renee, I'm going to read this, Renee. Uh, just it's, it's long, so I'm going to read it real quick. Is there a cut and grave sheet available anywhere for different types of laser machines and materials? I own an Omtech 80 watt, not a Glowforge. I just purchased eighth inch pattern ply and eighth inch wood. Hey, let me try this because I know I can do this. All right, I can do it. So Renee, here's the deal. Whatever settings you use on your machine for eighth inch MDF or quarter inch MDF, for example, uh, use that same setting for the MDF pattern ply. Or if you are bought uh, acrylic pattern ply, for example, use the same settings for your oh, acrylic yeah. eighth inch, acrylic quarter, whatever. It's the same thing. Uh, so hopefully that's right. Correct me if I missed anything. No, that, that's pretty spot on. I, I will say that we have actively started on making a file, a graph, a sheet. So we, we've done it yeah. like a dozen times now. And we get started... And the problem is everybody's laser is different. Yep. Mark might have an air assist. Yep. You may not. Mark might have an 80 watt Aon. You may have an 80 watt uh, Omtech. Right. And someone else might have an 80 watt Trotec. And everybody's settings right. are going to be different. Even if Mark has an 80 watt Aon and I have an 80, 80 watt Aon, our settings may not be the same, or we may not like the same look of an engrave. So it's very, very hard for us to have one that's standardized. It's very easy for Glowforge because Glowforge are are, are, uh, are very standard and very con they're relatively consistent. Right. Um, and make it very, very user friendly and make it very, very easy right. to have a baseline. And all of our settings are also always baseline. Our settings are always this will cut. Yep. You may be able to speed it up. Yep. You, but this setting. If your machine is working correctly, this setting should cut. Yep. Um, so, so basically, again, just to wrap that one up, is yeah. uh, pattern ply is not adding enough thickness on on both sides to really need to change your settings for whatever that material is normally. Yes. Uh, if if you can cut it with X Y Z settings without the pattern ply, it should cut the same with the pattern ply. I'll, I'll add one more thing. Uh, that people miss all the time. If your optics are not clean, if your bed is not level, um, all those kind of things, that's going to affect it. So um, always reach out to to uh, Casey or to myself if you need help. We're happy to help you. But make sure you've checked that first uh, because that does affect everything. Let me grab a couple more questions here. Um, uh, Melissa, there's a question about the, uh, the conference. Is the conference for experienced laser users or is it good for new laser users? I'm going to tell you it's for, definitely going to be for both. Here's some of the classes we're going to have. Just We're going to have one just like this where we're going to talk about how to make money. That's for 
everybody. In fact, yeah. I can tell you, I'm probably one of the most experienced laser users out there at the moment, or at least in these groups. And I learned stuff yesterday from Casey about how to make money. So definitely that for sure. We're going to have classes on uh, Illustrator, Inkscape, Silhouette, um, Procreate. So, and those will all be helping you get started how to use those. Um, I know that Victor Havens, man, if you didn't meet Victor last week, that dude is awesome. He's going to teach an Illustrator 101 and 201 class. That's going to be great. We are going to have a, a class uh, by Kathy Ray on the Glowforge itself. Uh, so if you do our Glowforge owner, that's going to be great, but you don't have to be one. Almost every one of these classes is going to be, if I can use the phrase, uh, laser agnostic. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what laser you have. It's going to help you. And, yeah. uh, and then also, I can promise you, every one of us, uh, we have nine uh, presenters and then me and Will. So I think we've got close to a dozen uh, presenters. We are going to make ourselves available as long as we can stay awake over those three days. Um, we absolutely will. We'll have some after hours meetings. Uh, we're going to go to Will's uh, new uh, warehouse and hang out there. Some of us uh, we will go out to dinner with you if you can. We're going to talk and help as long as we possibly can. Everybody that comes. Uh, so whether you're experienced or a beginner, I promise you, you're going to get we are going to send you home with more value than you can measure without Absolutely. a doubt. I promise it. So it'd be great. But I also say it's the connections that are probably the best. It really is. You can go home saying, oh, my gosh, Mark is taller than I ever had any business realized that Sasquatches were that tall. Um, but and, and Will is not. So we're like we're a great pair. Uh, that's awesome. But seriously, I, I want to add one thing yeah. to that. Yeah. Um, if you learn something today. Yep. Or you were inspired in this last hour. Yeah. With just me and Mark talking, then I think you'll have value going to the show. Absolutely. If, 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 if you got value from us talking, you absolutely got value from the show. We also are going to have the program with Pattern Fly, which is yep. going to bring value to the show. Um, I will honestly say that I am going to this show for work. 100%. This is a work show, and I will make myself available as much as physically possible during that show. And that is what I am going for is to be available to help. And Mark will tell you, I won't shut up about like just wanting more classes um, oh. because I just want to work. That's yeah. what I'm there for. I'm a worker anyway. Yeah. Um, so it, I definitely think that someone will get their money and work out of going. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let me uh, see if I can grab one or two more questions. Um, yes. Let me see. I think I got all the questions. So I want to tell you this. Um, Casey and I, we've been doing a lot of business together. It's been a lot of fun. If you are new to my group or if you're an old uh, person in my group, you know that I typically have done a thing called Win Stuff Wednesdays every Wednesday. And we've taken a break for the last few weeks. So we're going to start doing it again starting tomorrow. Okay. Win Stuff Wednesday. And what I do is I pick a topic that I think is fun and I post about it. I have you guys comment on it. It's usually something like, uh, tell me your best uh, dad joke. That was probably one of my all-time favorites. Oh, you yeah. guys pulled out the stops with the worst jokes I've ever heard. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, but it's always just a lighthearted or insightful question that I just ask to build community. And then we do that all Wednesday. And then Thursday morning, I close the comments at 9 a.m. my time. And then I count all the comments. I do a random number generator and we give stuff free away to a couple of the commenters just for fun. It has nothing to do with which answer we like the best. It's just completely random. And so we're going to be giving away. He and I will talk about it tonight. We're going to be giving away some stuff from Casey, which would be fun. I'm going to give away a bunch of free files. In fact, I'm going to give away. Um, heck, I'll just say it right now. I'm going to give away a one month subscription to my VIP, uh, group, cool. which is worth 300 bucks. I'm going to give that away tomorrow as well, just for just for people um, participating. So watch my group tonight. I'll post the topic and you can start commenting and it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be really cool. So that that's what we're going to do starting tonight all the way through until, uh, Thursday morning. All right. Casey, any last things you want to leave people with? Absolutely. I have to tease Friday's drop because I had to get, yes. I had to get my, uh, I had to get my group, Smoky Hill Laser Supplies, yes. excited um, and we've we've been working. Angela's been working so hard. Um, so we teased a couple of them already. So we have the Santa belt. Uh, Angela designed it to fit earrings. Um, 
just burning truck. It's going to be a fantastic. I, I see this one being hugely successful. Um, we have this beautiful red floral. I can't see anything, Mark, so let me know. Is it looking good? That looks looking great. Good? We have this beautiful red that floral. That really good, yes. Uh, I think this one's going to be really, really good for the uh, Christmas season. And everybody, let me know what you think as I'm showing them. I uh, would love to know what's, what's, what, what's going to be a hit. Um, I Angela threw this one in, and it's not probably not going to be the best seller, but it definitely touched my heart uh, a little bit. Uh, oh, some owls. It. Yeah. With, uh, you know, because Harry Potter is definitely a Christmas movie. Yes. This is definitely not Harry Potter, uh, <clears throat> but uh, – I absolutely think this one will be a really fun one to have. Um, we have some candy cane uh, snowflakes. Nice. Um, so you, you I should have been using the smoke scale. Um, oh, yeah. you missed the mark. Okay. So you have Christmas ornament. You can put that as a backer, or if you want to use uh, the smoke scale for earrings, you can see the different sizes, right? Yep. Um, I'm gonna do that real fast with these, so you can see little that's little cool. owls. Um, and the uh, this one, this one's gonna be hot. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it that this one huge money maker for somebody. It's gonna be amazing. Uh we have – oh, this one's super fun. This one's super fun. When I saw this one, it, it was great. We have little gumdrops. I mean, come on. Little gumdrops for Christmas ornaments. Oh, ornament. so cool. Little Christmas ornament gumdrops, right? Um, we have some, uh, some stockings, some cute little stockings. So you see some uh, – Cute little stocking earrings. Yes. I mean, you just literally just set, set your laser, cut some shapes, and have fun. Like I said, cut you a bunch of just random shapes out, put them in a little tackle box. All right, so this is this is probably number one. The uh, floral is number two. But tell me that this Oh, my gosh, look at that. Isn't just, so it's a trio, so you can get three different looks out of the same sheet, right? Tell me, transparent. Uh, Christmas sun catchers. Oh okay. my god! Uh, and then you have some earrings out of the green, out of the middle, and out of the red. Oh, okay. it's this one right here. I, I gotta, I gotta address this real quick here. I'm so excited about this. One. I, I gotta address this. So Karen says I'm a financial goner now. Man, we hope it's the exact opposite. I hope it's the exact opposite. Karen, yeah. if you go bankrupt. I go out of business. We need you to be successful. I need you out there making money, making money at the show. Use these ideas. Make you make a bunch of these. Just make a bunch of of, of, of Christmas ornament shapes. Yep. yep. And make you know make rings. And then inside the ring, guess what? You pull a couple of earrings out of the middle, right? Yep. Um, take you a couple of rings out of the middle. When you when you cut out the rings and then and then have the different patterns with there's so many opportunities um, to use these products. Um, Chris Christmas. So this one right here, all I can do is just envision uh, a Christmas um, a Christmas sheet of the flex inside of your uh, inside of your lamp. Yes, oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Um, I think, so I that, think that's I the one that Angela told me I could show. I think Adina's um, kind of wrapped it up for all of us. Oh, Lord. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Fantastic. Hey, you know what, guys? We're just going to call it a day for now. We could talk forever because we love you guys so much. Absolutely. We are so invested in your success. We absolutely are. Um, we do, But we also know you guys got stuff to do. You got work to do. You got things to make. Please, oh, please reach out to either one of us if there's anything we can do to help you make more money or – just to reach your laser dreams. I mean, whatever those dreams are, okay? Because maybe you're not building a business. Maybe you just want to figure out how to use that stupid laser that you haven't got the chance to use. Let us know. Reach out to me. Let it Hit me up in my group. Message me. We will do everything we can to help. Uh, I will start to say, I'll say this. My family and I are going on a, I'm going on a working vacation. At the end of this week, I'll be stuck in a car for a long time. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to live stream from the passenger seat. 
Uh, I'm also going to start answering some questions as much as I can. So, uh, yeah, it'll, what? <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. Uh, so we're going to let you guys go, but we'll keep watching the chat. We'll do our best to answer things even after we get off here. Uh, Absolutely. But guys, God bless you. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. Jump in my group tonight and tomorrow for Win Stuff Wednesday because you're going to get some free stuff from Casey and some free stuff from me. It's going to be great. And if you if you think you can, uh, join us in California. Buy your ticket. We're looking forward to seeing you in person, hugging your neck if that's your thing, high-fiving your fist bump, whatever your thing is. But we would love to meet you in person and to support you more. Uh, say bye, Casey. Bye. Talk to you guys later. Have a great night. See you Thank later. Thank you, everyone.